I once saw a documentary about cannibalism in the Southeast Asian islands, Papua New Guinea. I don't know if any of you have seen the same documentary, but in there they went and deep into the jungles and they interviewed people from villages who actually used to practice cannibalism till, the ni till 1974, I believe, when it was outlawed first in that country. But because these are remote tribes living in the remote jungles and forests, they, they had their own practices and they actually used to practice cannibalism. And they interviewed them. And when they interviewed them, some of the old people who had actually eaten before, eaten human flesh. So, when they talked to them, it's like it was something so normal. One of them, when they interviewed him, they're actually asking him, how did you uh, get this human? How did you uh, end up eating him? And he's describing how they caught this person, how they skinned him, how they roasted him on a pit, um, how they ate his flesh, what it tastes like. And whilst he's describing all of this, he's actually eating something at the same time. He wasn't flesh, he was some, he may have been a, a large vegetable or a coconut or something, but he was very casually, so he's having bites and in between morsels, just chatting away. It's like someone eating a Mars bar and talking very casually. Yeah, yeah, I went here, I went there. So he's like eating and in between morsels, he's in gory detail, he's describing how they skin, killed this human, skinned him, roasted him over a pit and cut his flesh and ate him, what it tastes like. And they say that all of them consistently said one thing, which is that um, they all called humans long pig because they say the flesh is exactly like pork. It's just like eating a, a pig. So they actually named the human meal as long pig. They, all of them, in their simple tribal language, consistently, all the people who had ever consumed human flesh, when they spoke to them, they all call this long pig. So they called humans long pigs when they were consumed, cooked and consumed, because they said the flesh is exactly the same. This is one more reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the flesh of khanazir, of swine haram. Because it's once we declare that to be haram, we are one step further removed from the sin of eating human flesh. But the reason I mention this, it was so natural, it was so normal. I mean, he was actually, it's like he's describing uh, the last time he had kebabs, and that was it. So casual. And I mention that because we may find that shocking. I mean, I can see the expressions on everyone's faces. But when it comes to backbiting, we have become so accustomed to it. It's normal for us. It's absolutely normal. We worried about eating halal and haram and e-numbers. But when it comes to consuming one another's flesh, which Allah describes as cannibalism in the Qur'an, we find it absolutely normal. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, surely you would detest this. Of course you would. So just as you detest that, فَكَرِهْتُمُوا Detest this. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ and Be wary of Allah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Verily, Allah is off-relenting and most merciful.